I mean, in the beginning, my influence is totally different than say now, early hip hop, you know, even like Run DMC. Those were the records that made me want to start making music myself. So my name's Gray Boy. I moved to Long Beach seven years ago. Oh well, it was just scratching, yeah. I mean, I wanted to start DJing because of scratching. It was so new, you know, and it wasn't really considered. People didn't take it seriously like that, where you could call it like an instrument. It was still just like a noise maker, you know. I made my first record in 91, the DJ record called Grey Breaks, and it was all instrumentals. It's a BMX bike that has a sidecar on it, and it's a team effort, basically. And it's kind of, it's a thing that's been around as long as BMX itself, basically, but it's just more obscure, and then it ended up teaming up with Rob via Fantasy Factory and then starting a, an actual company where we make like these BMX bikes, you know, side hacks. That was crazy. It, for me, it's like a creative thing. When I go back to music, it actually makes music a lot cooler too. And new records come out, new groups, and I really like, I like collaborating. Even my solo records are like a lot of collaborations. I grew up in San Diego. I'm not sure that it really affected me musically because it was kind of like a musical vacuum. <laughs> well, but I was influenced by music that came in from the outside, so an East Coast influence, mostly. Later on this year, Insight's got the garage art program. It's gonna go down in Portland and in New York, and I'm looking forward to being part of both of those. And at those events, you'll be able to get 7-inch I was talking about with my track on one side and the Tijuana Panthers on the other side. Very cool, limited edition. Heat. This will hurt your eye right here. Yeah, I know, I didn't want to hit you guys in the face. <laughs>